Hello everybody, this is Petey from Bergzer Arcade at BergzerArcade.com and here we are with a quick tutorial on how to create a skybox. Now I was asked this question on YouTube and it's pretty simple, uh, but I thought it'd be a little easier to explain if I did it through a quick video than trying to actually explain it with words. Uh, there's quite a few ways to do it. We're going to cover the two easiest ways. And instead of getting into, you know, having a panoramic picture that we're going to use a, a like a cylinder projection or something like that on it, we're just going to stick with this standard uh, six textures that you get from programs such as Terrigen or Spacescape or whatever program you want to use to actually create these textures. Uh, there's quite a few out there. Those are the first two that pop out to me. Terrigen is available for both Mac and Windows. And Spacescape is only available on Windows, I believe. If you know of any others that are available, uh, go ahead and post them down below so someone else can check them out. Uh, but what you want to do is go ahead, make these textures, import them, and then the next step you'll want to do is actually make a, a material. So we're just going to come down, create a material, and call it whatever you want. I'm going to call my matte skybox. And then we're going to come up to the shader. We'll come down to render FX, and you have two choices here. And we'll go with both of these, the skybox and the skybox cubed. So I'm going to start off with the skybox. This is probably the one most people are familiar with. You have these six pictures here, and if when you're exporting your textures over here, hopefully you named them properly. Uh, so that it's very easy to hook them up. So the back goes to the back, down goes down, front goes front, uh, left goes left. Now some other game engines will have different naming for them. Uh, did I just put that the right right one? Right to right, yeah. Uh, so be careful that they might have different naming conventions when you're exporting them, but uh, just keep in mind, you know, this is the way Unity does it. So great, we got our material made now. Now what do we do with it? Well, there's two ways to do it. If this is a skybox you want to use all throughout your game through all the different scenes, you're better off to come up to uh, Edit, go down to Render Settings, and you have a skybox material setting right here. Just go ahead and drag it in there. Uh, but if this is a skybox you want only on this scene, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll delete this. What you can do is actually just take the camera Come up to Components, go to Rendering, and you can add a Skybox component right there. Of course, I'm using Unity 4, so instead of using the menu system, you could also do the exact same thing down here. Uh, go to Rendering and then Skybox. I've already added one, so we'll go ahead, we'll take this material, we'll drop it on there. Now, one thing I didn't go over about the materials is that when you're importing them, uh, make sure they're clamp and make sure you have the proper uh, max size as well. Uh, but if you don't have clamp, you're going to see seams, like box seams here. We'll actually go ahead and turn off the clamping just so you can see. We'll go ahead, put them to repeat, hit apply. And when we go to start it up, I guess we'll start it up in full screen. And you start it up, you see these little seams? Uh, that's because clamping isn't on. So... The, I remember seeing something about seams. Someone mentioned it. Yeah, so turn clamp on. Remember, you can do them all at once. Uh, we'll full screen again, start it back up, and there you go. Your seams are gone, and everything looks great. So let's go over the skybox one. I'm going to come down into textures. I'm going to create a cube map right there, and it looks pretty similar to... The material we just used. I'll go ahead and set the size. We're gonna want to. Okay, yeah, it went. We're gonna want to go ahead and put these in. So back to back. You now these are, are in a different order. Uh, down will be bottom. So the names are a little bit different as well. Uh, front, left, right, and top or up. And what you're gonna do is come over to your material now. And instead of taking that skybox, we're going to come down to render FX and take skybox cubed. And it wants a cube map, so we'll go ahead, we'll drag that in here. And I'm not sure if you're noticing, but the sun is in a different spot. It's, it's like it's shifted 90 degrees. So let's go ahead, we'll go regular skybox again. See my sun's over here. So to me, it just feels like it shifts 90 degrees, but that's not the main thing about it. Uh, we'll go back to skybox cubed. We'll go full screen, start it back up. And uh, no seams, no nothing. 
looks pretty much the same. So what's the difference? Well, usually Skybox Cubed is something you want to use on mobile devices that has less draw calls but uses more memory. And we can take a look at this. Uh, we'll open up the stats. Now I've got a couple hotkeys. Uh, let's go full screen. I do have a couple hotkeys enabled here where I can turn off my terrain and my water. So if we look at the draw calls here, we have uh, well, 404. We'll turn off the terrain and the water, and we're down to four. You know, spin around, we got four, right? And let's see, VRAM usage is 22.5 to 46.2. So we'll stop that. I'm going to come back in, switch back to the other one, Render FX Skybox. Now, apparently, this is actually supposed to look better as well. Uh, I really don't notice the difference personally myself. And I forgot to go full screen. We'll start this back up. Uh, we'll, well, before I turn the water off, I'll take a look. You know, the draw calls uh, a little bit higher, maybe. But anyway, if we turn them off, we'll notice that uh, we're at nine draw, call, nine draw calls. And the VRAM usage is about half. It looks like the max anyway. So well, there you go. I think they look pretty much the same. One shifted about 90 degrees off. And while the box, you do get fewer draw calls. It uses more VRAM and vice versa for uh, just the regular Skybox. Anyway, I hope that answers your question. And uh, if you have any more, just let me know down below. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.